Okay, so now I've uh, tried the gimbal out, um, what I wanted to do is also test this theory that you could use it in the uh, opposite rotation. Now, as you probably saw um, earlier in that, that previous test, I turned it upside down and everything glitched the hell out of there. Uh, reason for that, which they don't explain very well at all in the uh, instruction manuals, is basically that um, because the IMUs are based in the motors, um, you'll see that motor is actually, as I sit it in this orientation, upside down. Um, this particular motor, the bottom, um, this, this motor just here, Get that in focus. This radiator can only be mounted in one orientation. As you can see, the mounting bracket has no real choice. So that has an intelligent in orientation um, because the IMU is in it. So basically what we have to do to get it into the upward facing orientation is we have to take that motor and we have to make it go from this side to this side. Now you can't just flip it around um, because there is a stopper which you can just about see there, you see where that's impacting just by my thumb that stops it from rotating all, or rotating all the way round. Obviously the, uh, the idea, and this is just my theory on this, is that what happens is that the IMU works out which orientation it's in um, and from that point on it will decide where its kind of boundary limits are, uh, basically. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to brave uh, actually taking this thing back to pieces again and I'm going to rotate the orientation. So first and foremost we want to take the GoPro off. So I simply unscrew the mounting bracket. Out come these little bolts. Little more fiddly than I would like. I have to admit I would probably prefer a bit of Velcro or something but Shapeways 3D design not as if I can't do that if I want to. And I the extra weight really doesn't concern me on this. It's uh, pretty much proved to me that that's uh, that's going to be okay. Okay, turn the camera off. Okay, so that's off. So now basically what we want to do, um, I believe, is we've got four bolts. One, two, three, four, and we just want to take them off, rotate it around, put it on the other way around. Um, that's how I'm going to do it. Whether it works or not, we will see. Definitely don't want to drop those bolts into the motor because that will be a real tricky thing to get out of there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it around. He says with confidence. So we want it to be this way around. Again, I will stress to you and myself the importance of not dropping those screws inside the motor because, as we all know, brushless motors have rather powerful magnets and I don't much fancy trying to get them out of there. Okay, so a little fiddly. Right, so that is now done. So we'll flip that around there. So as you can see, that is now on that side. So next we will put GoPro back on.
Okay. GoPro is now on and it's setting up. So the true test will be when I plug it in here. Fingers crossed, everyone. What's the worst that can happen? And lo and behold, the worst that can happen is the best that can happen. So we now have an upside down inverted gimbal. They've got a couple of things. If you look at the um, the Feuertech, that's F-E-I-Y-U-T-E-C-H. Uh, if you look at their website, they do show it uh, mounted to um, to a, a wing um, in this orientation. So uh, prove to me that was the way that I knew that when I looked at the actual label on this motor that it needed to be this side motor needs to be in the right orientation. The rear one is intelligent enough to know what it's doing but the side motor has to be the right way around so that's the rule of thumb um, so if for whatever reason you get it out of the box and you find that that's the wrong way around and it starts glitching out you may be onto onto something there um, and likewise take note of this video and the orientation of which side that motor came on um, it was on the opposite side for hanging the other way around so um, so yeah just bear that in mind um, but yeah but basically very happy with it um, like I say I shall do some further testing make some mounts uh, stay tuned if you want to see more videos from uh, from this um, first time I've ever said it but yeah subscribe to my uh, my YouTube channel and um, you should see plenty more of this attached to well pretty much anything I can fix the damn thing to um, so yeah enjoy